everyone, this is Gina. Thanks for joining me again. Um, this video I'm going to demo the gilding waxes and the gilding polishes. A lot of people have asked me what it's for, what can I do with it, etc. And I thought it would be nice to, to demo it. So what you do, I got the aquamarine and you can put it over any crafting surface. Okay, so anything that you can think of as a crafter, this can go on it. It's best for raised surfaces or something like this where you can get a, a brush and you can get the inside of the crevices really good. It used to be white, so now it's aquamarine. You just get it all in the crevices. And then after a minute or so, you get a soft cloth, or your finger like I do, and you just buff it out. Okay? And it becomes shinier. And it does take... It doesn't need to dry, per se, but um, it does take a little while to dry fully. That's the aquamarine. Okay, I even have a lot of these a lot of little mixed media trinkets and silver trinkets. And then you can go right over with either the brush or your finger on the raised parts. Let me get some more. And the raised parts and then make it blue. Something a little bit different. Can you see the difference? And with this one, you know what, I'm gonna be crazy and do the gilding polish on that one. All I'm doing is rev Wiping it off comes out really easy. Okay, I don't know if I told you, but the waxes, especially, if you put your finger in there, always clean it out with a soft cloth or you know, a paper towel, just a little tiny bit, because the bacteria from your fingers will get into the bottle, and if you don't use it for a couple months, then it can't actually grow mold inside. I've lost a bottle like that and you know brand spanking new ten dollar bottle you get kind of upset. <laughs> so be careful when you use your fingers especially in gilding waxes and polishes. Okay. He, this stuff works. That's why I was sent this out. Uh, works pretty much the same way as, you know, metallics and like acrylic metallics. This is just a lot thinner and you can actually put this in spray bottles even with paint thinner and use that as a as a great um, alternative. But this stuff works just as well, just as good vice versa if I can get some out. There you go. <laughs> See it? it goes right over the, the tip of the, the raised areas. That's what I use it for. Okay. You can do the same exact thing with the polishes or the gilding wax. Same concept. That actually looks pretty. Okay, one of my favorite colors is this bright pink. And these bottles are really great because, let me show you this one. So yeah, this has one. Um, it comes with this, its own sponge. 
and you have to prime it first before you put it into the wax but you can do almost anything with this just like with your inks you could do it with this as well okay let's get the pink out oh yummy pretty okay and I like this but it's kind of boring just by itself so put my finger in there get a little bit of pink a little bit goes a long way you just go right over the edges I like getting dirty <laughs> makes me actually think I'm working You can get inside, I don't know if you can see that very well. You get inside the grooves, or you could go right over the top, or you can do like I did with this one, two different colors. I use these a lot. I make little gifts for people. And I'll decorate the outside with the wax. You could decorate the whole thing. But I'll decorate it with wax and then I'll put my fantasy moons in here. Wait, there you go. Put my fantasy moon by Pablo, I think it's called. These are really, really awesome. Love these paints, they're the best. But one thing is, you have to shake it or it won't work. Okay, let's, let's demo this, huh? <laughs> I didn't think I was going to demo this, but I think you guys would like to see it. Really beautiful color. Look at that. And all you do, you could either pour it out like I'm going to, or you could use a toothpick. Pour the paint right inside. I don't want to get too much because I mean that's not that's not that much because I want to put the moon in there and these paints are meant to mix together but it does special effects and it's really cool let me shake this one up really good this one I'm about to do is emerald and it is one of my absolute favorite colors. And I'm just going to put a little bit in here. You can just swirl it, swirl it through. Just like that. Okay, that's it for right now. This does, I do recommend having this dry overnight. You put a lot of paint in there. But after two, about two hours, you'll see the full effect. And it would be pretty dry to the touch. And imagine giving that to somebody for Christmas. Put it on a nice chain. Put their name in it you know you could even pop in um, a charm or something and I mean it's beautiful love these and it's doing like an eggshell I like how they mix that's that's the magic of it okay and I'm going to show you it tomorrow when it's dry so the Gilding polish is on the outside, and then the Pablo is on the inside. Have you ever done the um, polymer clay? I love doing polymer clay and then using the waxes over it. Okay, I do that. I do polymer clay, 
and I will also put it on regular furniture. I just got these mirrors. It's a huge mirror. You get nice and thick and big. And you can do this whole thing. Imagine that wax over all these edges. That would be really cool to do. Actually, I think I am going to do it. Okay. This is another one of my favorite things, favorite ways to use it. Okay. Oh, I put, I actually put some on this picture frame before to show you how it looks. That's the aquamarine. Everybody has picture frames laying around. And you could jazz it up. And you just buff it out. Yeah. yeah, this one, another one of my mixed media pieces. Uh, I'm not quite done with it. But, you know, hey. <laughs> so you could stencil with this stuff. Let me put this on the side. Now, what color are we going to choose? This one. Oh, look how luscious that is. What color is this? I don't know. It looks like a burgundy. So nice. I'm just going to use that as lid. Okay, where is my... I'll just use this. It's nice and dry. And you just pounce it, get a tiny bit on there. And I like to either put it on my work surface or something, just a little tiny bit off of there. And then you could either swirl or pounce it on. It's kind of a lot. Okay. Let's roll it around. It comes right off. And remember, you can buff it to make it a little bit prettier. And get as much as you want or as little as you want. On the stencil, there you go. Down here, I put a little bit more than up there. Let's see. Yep. Okay, so it's nice and metallic y colors. I didn't put the whole stencil, obviously. And it washes right out of your stencil. All you gotta do is wipe it off. Maybe I'll show you with a, um, like a ranger pouncer, because it does work with those too. Okay, really? You're not going to go on for me? Middle of video. Seriously, what are you doing? Okay, fine, I'll use you again. If that's what you really want. Okay, um, let me use this one. I don't usually put it in there. I'll put it on my work surface first. Okay, all this. my chair is squeaky. Okay. Can you see? You just put it right on. <laughs> it's not really good. good one to use for this, huh? Nice swirling motions. Just, I've even used stamps. So I did this one earlier, buffed it out, and let me see if I have a stamp yet. I do. So gee, go right into your work surface, get a little bit on your stamp, and you know if you um, get a little bit in between, 
you can always, with this stuff, since it's so thick, you could always go in and pick it right out. Do that. If you're, you know, like me. <laughs> See, I just picked that out right there. Um, and you go right over this and you just stamp it on. Oh, I suck at stamping apparently. Okay. Nice little wooden piece you just. Okay. Another thing I like to do with them, and I'll show you. I'm an acoustic artist. I love doing encaustics. And what encaustic is, is wax painting. You melt the wax and it's, you have it swirl on there. You can put a mixed media on there. All kinds of great stuff. And you heat it up and oh, it's just wonderful. What it is is beeswax. But I've used it in my encaustic paintings. See the blue? I even I use oil paints on these. I've used all kinds of stuff, but this is encaustic on the board. So I don't know if you're more interest more interested in more fine art. So all it is is wax on encaustic, which is beeswax. And this is the blue one. This one I use oil paints also. So you can see all the cracks in there. It's because it's two different kinds of paint, per se, and it will crack, and it just leaves these really great surfaces. Okay. That's just a little bit interesting thing you could do with some of them. Okay, let me clean this up a little bit. Okay. Another really great thing you can do, but it... It doesn't, it does some, to a point, mix very well with um, a lot of different kinds of gels and, um, you know, like grunge paste and stuff like that. I believe it will mix with grunge paste, but all you gotta do, if you want that thicker look, is get some heavy gel. And this is gloss because I'm doing metallic. And you just mix it in. And it, oh, this is already dry. <laughs> and what's interesting, it will leave, it doesn't mix completely, which I think is great. I think it's like really cool. At first, if you really get in there, it will mix. But I like the different colors because this is um, transparent. And then it just leaves really cool stri um, stripes and stuff in there, which I think is interesting. You know, it's a different, different, you know, paint, I guess, and it's something you're making. See how I have to really mix it in order to um, mix it all the way. Okay. And you can put this right over. A stencil. I guess it does change the um, the color. Looks like it to me. Changes the color a little bit. But this is another thing I've made. <laughs> now I put the stencil right over it. Okay. This is how I do it. Put as thick as you want. And as you want. I'm usually not very careful, I guess you would say. I don't really mind if it goes over the edge like that. It's kind of the process. Okay, that's enough. Let's pick it up. Oh, that's da, da, da. Isn't that great? Very shimmery. And it comes rough. And I would buff this afterwards. I really do hope I 
took a little bit of the mystery out of the wax. It, it could be mixed. It could be, you know, you can thin it out, which is great. You could thin it out with paint thinner. Use it as a paint with paintbrush. All kinds of applications you could use it with. Okay. Treasure Gold. This is the Treasure Pewter. I put it on stencils. Use it in caustic painting. All kinds. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope to see you next time when I do the rest of my tea stashes. Yeah, thanks. Bye.